Um, time elapsed, I chopped up all the vegetables that I'm going to be putting into the baggies. Now, you know, um, someone brought up a point to me a couple weeks ago, and I, this is true, and I know it's true, and I'm going to think of something or find a way, but for me, it's just easiest putting these in sandwich baggies. I know the plastic effect, it's not good, you know, blah, 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 whatever. I, I guess everything affects you in some way, shape, or form. Um, until I think of a better idea, so I get these in my briefcase and I can take this stuff to work. Um, just my current schedule and where I work and stuff, it's just kind of difficult. It's easy for me to sometimes just to put it um, in these little baggies. But what I do is I'm just going to kind of take all these vegetables I have now um, and I'm going to put them all in these baggies. So here's what I have. Here's what I've chopped up. Um, I have my kale. I have my collard greens. I have my parsley. I have some um, baby carrots. A little bit of broccoli. I have cucumber, I have celery, I have red bell pepper, and I have ginger, raw ginger root. You know, a lot of people probably know the ginger from Asian cooking, a lot of people probably use ginger. Ginger is an excellent, excellent um, added to put to food. The reason why it aids in digestion, number one, number two, it reduces inflammation. Um, so I like to add it to a lot of, a lot of my food. Um, and during the week when I'm making my vegetable packs, I like to eat a little bit of ginger with every single one of them. I noticed that it helps aid the digestion a little bit, helps reduce the inflammation. Uh, if I'm working out, a little sore, a little tired. It's, a, it's kind of like a natural aspirin per se, uh, I like to call it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start delving out my little vegetable baggies with a couple of each one of these little vegetables. Um, and now think about this one. You know, I hear these commercials on TV saying, oh, I need to take Metamucil, I need my fiber, you need to get your fiber from a box from some sort of old brand cereal, you need to get your fiber from this and that. Do you understand that this will keep you moving along per se, just by eating all these vegetables? Um, not to mention, think about what this is doing for your body. I mean, take a look at what I have here. This stuff is all picked fresh, and you know, and actually Sarah and I will actually end up going to two or three grocery stores just to get the best of the best. Yeah, we'll spend Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, we'll spend an hour and a half, two hours going to the grocery store, looking around for, for different things that we like. We might find this better at this store, this better at this store, but we try to buy peak of freshness things. Things that we know are gonna be ripe as can be. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just putting a couple little things in. You know, I don't know why I went Ryan Marie's, and I try to make them even. If I run out of stuff and I can't fill one thing and one item, and if one of the items is in the bag, it's not a big deal. The point of the matter is to get, in my case, about one to two cups worth of vegetables per serving. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of delving out the little portions. Um, if I don't get peppers in every one of them, or if I don't get carrots in every one of them, that's okay. And some of the bags are going to have collard greens, some are going to have kale. Um, the one thing I do put in every one of the baggies is parsley. Um, I really like parsley. And I think one of the main reasons I like putting parsley in, or I put it towards the bottom as well, is because um, it's a good uh, breath freshener, number one. Number two, parsley is loaded with vitamin C, loaded with, with certain, I like to call them medicines. Um, by the way, something to tell you guys here that, you know, I haven't taken aspirin since 2006. I don't take any sort of medication. Uh, I stay away from any sort of drugs. Occasionally, you know, on a blue moon, I might drink. If I do, it may be some straight vodka or something, but I don't really drink, I don't smoke. Um, but I've noticed that this lifestyle that we have, the foods that we eat, um, I don't ever get sick. I technically, other than maybe getting a, a minor cold or getting stuffed up once in a while, some that's probably induced by myself by not uh, protecting myself or not sleeping enough or something, but I don't get sick. I've been sick in about nine years. And like I said, I haven't taken aspirin since 2006. And I really truly believe it's due to the items and how I eat and what I eat. Um, so, you know, if you want to start considering yourself, how can I get healthy? This really true is. This truly is the way to a healthy lifestyle. By making sure you're eating whole, fresh, raw vegetables. Fruits are good. Remember, fructose is still a sugar, and I kind of try to limit that maybe to mornings or afternoons, weekends. It's more of vegetables, the complex carbohydrates, the meats, the protein powders, things like that. Um, okay, so some of these I'm going to put collard greens in. Some of them I'm going to put kale in. Um, no rhyme or reason on how many or what, just kind of so I fill up all the baggies. Um, but I try to stuff the baggies as much as I can with different things. Uh, so, take a look at these collard greens though, guys. Um, get a close up of how pretty these collard greens are. These are fresh, fresh as can be. Now, you can steam vegetables. You, there's no question about it. They're still going to be good for you if you steam them. I would suggest not over steaming. 
And there's really, there's, there's different schools of thought that say that you release certain, um, I should say, you release certain indioles in the food by steaming them, which may be true. My school of thought is this. I will steam some. Sometimes I really like to eat raw as much as possible. Whenever I can, I try to eat raw. And I do steam my broccoli at nighttime. The cauliflower is a little hard for me to eat raw. But this is what I do. If I have a little bit of raw broccoli, I'll steam the rest or vice versa. I try to make sure I get some of it raw and some of it steamed. For the most part, though, I try to eat all my vegetables raw. Um, I think it retains the most vitamins and minerals. Uh, you get the most vitamin C from doing it that way. And it's worked that, that way best for me for a long time. So another thing I want to mention, guys, think about the colors that I have here. Um, I'm not just eating, even though greens, I believe, are probably the most important in this whole batch, um, I'm eating different colors, the reds, the purples, the greens, the yellows, the oranges, the different shades. Celery, you guys, um, another great, great thing to eat. Uh, another medicinal food, per se, if you want to call it that even. Um, I try to make sure that I eat celery uh, a couple times a week at least. Some of I'll put celery in, some I'll put cucumbers in. English cucumbers. These are the type of cucumbers you can eat. And there's a couple different varieties of cucumbers, of course. There's like the shorter ones, kind of like the pickling ones, the larger ones, and there's English. English you can eat the skin on as well. Um, that color is beautiful. I'd rather wash them and try to get English cucumbers if I can. So um, we did find English cucumbers today, so we are using those. Um, and, you know, cucumbers are known for their silica, uh, which helps with, with skin tone. You know, a lot of times you hear people say, I have swollen eyes. They say, oh, you know, put, put some cucumbers in your eyes. That effect also happens inside the body with, with cucumbers as well. So cucumbers are an excellent source to eat. Some of these are going to add some fresh raw broccoli to. We found some good organic broccoli this morning. We were at Whole Foods. Um, so I'm putting broccoli in several of these baggies. Um, as well as every one of the baggies is going to get a fresh shot of ginger. And like I said before, it helps reduce inflammation. Um, it really, truly helps a lot in the aid of digestion or eating digestion and just overall good health. Um, so each one of these bags is going to get a little bit of, uh, of ginger in them. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's how it looks. I'm going to seal these baggies up now. Um, each one of these have a good amount of vegetables in them. Some a little more, some a little less. And as the day goes on, you kind of pick, like, you know, which meals you want to eat what. Or every day when I'm looking at these, I might say, hey, you know, I'm going to go with collard greens twice, maybe once kale. Now, this will last me... Understandably, I, someone may say I'm a fanatic with the raw vegetables I eat, um, but this will last me about three days. Uh, you know, for three of my meals while I'm at work or I'm away from home, um, I'm going to eat vegetables out of a bag. And they're already pre made, pre prepared. And what's great about this is I don't have to worry about it in the morning. I know that I already have my vegetables for the day, I already know. So, example now, what I'll do, you know, tomorrow I'm going to make some lean beef burgers, two servings worth. So I'm going to eat my protein shake, go swimming, biking, do something, come home, eat my breakfast, get ready, go to work. Noon, bag of vegetables, beef, rice. 3 o'clock, bag of vegetables, beef, rice. 5.30, I'm going to have a protein shake, a handful of raw almonds, another vegetable bag. I'll come at night, I'll steam some broccoli, drink some protein powder, maybe have a sweet potato, and I'm done for the day. But understand how powerful and what kind of energy and vitality I'm keeping going throughout the day. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to put my vegetables away. Um, and I'm going to upload some more videos of what we eat. Sarah will put up some videos of what she eats as well. But I want to kind of give you guys a gist of like what I do. And this has worked very, very well for me. Not to have to be as fanatical with it. You can use your glass containers. You can do whatever you like to do with it. Um, but ultimately and overall, um, eat the vegetables, guys. It really does help. Talk to you soon.